So I have one package of active dry yeast in this half cup of water, and it's been sitting around, just kind of getting foamy, as you can see. Now I'm going to put it into my mixer, and I'm going to add another cup of warm water. So we have our warm water in there, and we have our yeast. So the Next thing we need to add is some olive oil. So here's a little extra virgin olive oil. And with that, we're going to add some cheese. And this is just pecorino cheese. So it's a sheep's milk cheese. You want about a third of a cup or so. So that goes in with our liquid ingredients. And then of course, we need salt to flavor our dough and also to keep the rising in check because if you didn't have any salt in a dough that you made, the yeast would just run rampant and you wouldn't have a very good flavor in your dough. So we have that and then we need some pepper, about, oh, I'd say a teaspoon or so. And now we're just gonna whirl that around for a couple minutes. All right, now that we have that all mixed up, we can begin to add our flour. So we've got about four cups. I'm going to add it a little bit at a time. because so I want to create a dough that is not too sticky, but not too hard. So if you're doing this in a mixer, do this a little bit at a time. Okay, I think I can take that out now. I'm going to knead it on my board. I think Nona would be really proud of me making this in her honor. So now once you have the dough, you want to knead it. Use your hands and kind of turn the dough every so often. And you'll have something that looks like this, a really beautiful, soft looking ball of dough. So now we need to put this into a bowl to rise. So here is a nice clean bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the base and just give that a little sweep there. Take the dough and wipe it in the bowl. That's a really beautiful looking soft dough. And now we want to cover this. So we cover this with some saran wrap, plastic wrap a big piece of plastic wrap right over the top. And you're gonna have to let this rise for about, oh, an hour, an hour and a half. You really want it to be double in size. It looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? It's nice, it's fluffy, and I can punch it down. When you punch a dough down like this, you disperse all of those yeast cells. So again, get it on your board, give it a little flour, and knead it again. The longer you let dough like this rest, the easier it's going to be to knead and to roll. Okay, now before I roll that out, I want to talk to you about the filling. <clears throat> because the filling for this is very, very interesting. We have cheese, and we have something called mortadella. And when you're ready to roll the dough, you want to put some flour down on your board and roll this out into a rectangular shape. So before I do that, I want to lop off a piece, just like that. I'll tell you why later. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to put that off to the side and work with this. Okay, now we can roll this out. And you do that, of course, with a rolling pin. So get your pin. And now what we want to do is give this a little bit of olive oil. So I'm going to put a little olive oil over the top and just spread that around with my brush. Just brush it all over the top. And now I take these ingredients here we go with the provolone. So there's our cheese. And now the mortadella. I'm going to spread that around. OK, looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, now, let me give myself some room here. 
I start from one side and then you take that end and you really seal it. So now I want to lift this up, get that off my board, and roll this. We have our pan and you lift it up and you put it right in the pan, just like that. And we have to let this rise, oh, for about 40, 45 minutes. So we're gonna put that aside and it's ready for the eggs. Before I do that, I wanna take that little piece of dough that I saved and cut eight pieces from it because I have four eggs. So you put the four little, the eight little pieces aside and now you take four eggs that are raw and you insert them way down. Just put them randomly into the dough. This was the part that always intrigued me because I thought raw eggs, they're gonna be raw when they come out, but no, they were hard boiled, cooked beautifully. So you get them into the dough like that and then you take these little pieces of dough and you place them over the eggs. You take another egg and you just beat this up lightly. So beat up this egg and you just want to give this a little wash over the top of the dough. You brush this over the top and I like to do this to really anchor those crosses down so that they don't come apart. The casatiello before it is baked. So in a 375 degree oven, you add the bread. 55 minutes later, 